figure your world. Hey, you know, we often joke about the futility of reinventing the wheel. But what about reinventing the combustion engine? While hybrid and electrical, uh, electrical technology has taken huge leaps forward in recent years, the design of engines themselves haven't changed, well, changed very little, in fact, over 200 years. Until now, that is. Let us get more, because Gold Freeman is chairman of Aquarius Engines, who has just flown in from Israel yeah. to bring us this engine. Let, um, let's talk about it. Just explain to us, Lehman, what's the magic in this engine? Well, like you said, uh, the engine was invented over 150 years ago mm. and it hasn't been changed. Mm. It had tweaks here and there and modifications, but the idea stayed pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. And the basic internal combustion engine was designed to rotate, to turn the wheel, yep. to enable mobility. We in Aquarius Engines don't refer to an engine as a rotational tool. Mm -hmm. We look at it as an energy converter that from one side you put one sort of energy, can be petrol or natural gas, mm -hmm. and from the other side you get another sort of uh, energy, can be heat or electricity. Now when you, to when you look at an engine as a converter, terms like efficiency, weight, size, uh, becoming more crucial. Mm -hmm. So we don't necessarily use this engine to rotate. This engine slides from side to side, and by doing so, it creates electricity. So this is not just, and just, if we can have a brief, I've got about two minutes, and I've got all these okay. questions for you. Um, uh, this is not just an engine for a car. This is, a, this is a small generator that could be used in all sorts of applications. You are correct. You got it right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, are car companies, uh, are they falling over themselves to get to you? This, this must be, I mean, in terms of weight, this is only 15 kilos. This is 15 kilos, and the equal, this, this, the, if you, we compare apple to apple, an engine that will give the same energy as ours will weight 80 to 150 kilos. We'll have 100 parts and dozens of moving parts. This has 15 kilos, 20 parts, and only one moving part. What's it going to cost me? <laughs> We're not in the pricing, pricing uh, yet, but, but in, instead of a lot of metal, a lot of assembly, uh, this one is much simpler, weight less, so it probably costs less in, in mass production. And again, just I just want to highlight for us dummies here, me, the, 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 the magic is with a traditional engine you only get the power going one way. This, gets, this creates the power a both ways. Tra traditional engine loses energy mm -hmm. because it has a, a, a lot of moving p uh, parts. A lot of moving yep. parts mean lots of friction. It transforms inside the internal uh, linear movement that occurs inside uh, the cylinder to right. rotational movement. And, and, and this also loss of uh, energy. We don't do that. Okay. Go Freeman, I think, it's, I think it's amazing personally. And I think you're going to have a lot of success. I'm going to have to leave it there. But we appreciate it so much for you bringing this little baby all the way into the Talking Business Studios. Let's just go and take a no, no cube today. Full frame. There you go. That's what we call that. Take a look. The US market's little in change, little change. Investors really haven't responded to the weekend attacks in London. And of course, we are waiting for a string of economic numbers out of the world's biggest economy. Philip is back at the top of the hour with Impact. You can follow me at BBC Aaron. I'll see you soon. Same time, same place tomorrow. Bye-bye.